check out the file and in the chat you know we just write start once again. Okay, so we completed our 10 pictures for the assignment. Now we are uh, we just got a little bit more information from the web about the label policies and the retention policies. These pages we all have covered already. Written completed. Now we are at our project. As usual, we will complete four tasks that we have already done, uh, but just uh, we want to repeat them on new tenants or maybe at the same tenant, but at least you have to do your own work. Uh, so then we can see that yes, we have learned these skills. And Uh, every week we are completing four tasks. Our project has 24 marks for our final 100 marks of this course. We will complete 24 tasks, for 24 pictures, uh, but four tasks in each week. Uh, we have six weeks for our project. So now we are in week number four for the project. Uh, these are the list for the previous tasks, week one and week two. This is week three for the project. This is week four for the project. And next will be week 13, one week, and then 14, one week. We will complete four more tasks each week. Then, of course, the 15, we have the exam. Uh, because last time, some students said that it just we give the project in 14th week that it puts a big burden on us. And because we have to prepare for the final exam also, so this time we created our project in all six weeks, just bit by bit. And we have four tasks for every week. So this week, four tasks, the numbers are uh, related with the previous ones. We have completed 12 tasks. So now we have 13, 14, 15, and 16. And these are uh, easy. Always, uh, I try to make it not uh, difficult. Uh, so the things, and we have done already. So first of all, uh, get a list of the deleted files from the audit log. Right today, we have done that in the last, uh, I believe in the last task. So just that once again, and that we will be completing our first task for the project. And how we do that, we have done that already. I will show you once again. Uh, this one, no, not this one, here, yeah, this one I'm just closing, and let's say all the SharePoint Admin Center we want to keep, and this one is also Microsoft Office 365 Admin Center, but they'll leave it. Exchange, uh, here is mail flow, message trace, and here, uh, compliance, yes, in compliance we have added. There we find the list of the deleted files. I'm just clicking on the done, so we will be back. And then from Shigonness, and in the compliance we have added here. Uh, compliance is simply we can reach from our main page. If we click on all tips, we will see it here somewhere. That, yeah, it's here already. So if we click on the compliance, we reach on this page. And I will close the other one. So on this page, we are on Microsoft 365 compliance. And in this one, we have audit. So we click on audit. And here we can query the audit log. We want to see the list of the deleted files. Let me just show you once again for our project. Uh, the first task is get a list of the deleted files from the audit log. 
I have not put any conditions. I wanted to put some conditions here, but it's okay. Just put any conditions that you like to make it a, a simple query. And but basically, we just want to get some list of the deleted files. Okay, so we go here. We give the date, whichever we want to give. For example, we give the February because I know there were some deleted files in the February. So from starting of the February till the end of the February, I know I have some deleted files. So activity is here. We click on it and then we select deleted files. Deleted files. So this is our activity that we want to search. Uh, we don't give any user. We don't give any user here. We don't give any folder and files. Otherwise, we can narrow our search alert also. So we click on search and we will get the list of the deleted files in this time. Right away, we have 14 deleted files. And so this is basically that's it. It's so easy that we already got the list of the deleted files. So just to test, we can add one or two more scenarios. So say, see that it's working. See, because this is only one user that have deleted MS, this one. So if I enter another user, there will be no files. Or if I give a different date, like for this is 15th of February, all the files in February, those were deleted were on 15th of February. Uh, so, if we give any other criteria, we will see that there will not be any file. So, uh, of course, this added search query is working. Just to show you the functionality, for example, if we click here, February, but we start from 16th of February, let's say, up to 28th of February. So we see, do we get any results? Because before we get complete, oh, 26th February also there were. Oh, sorry, I have not clicked the deleted file. So everything is coming here. So 150 items. We we'll go back and in the audit search, give once again. February 16th to February 28th, but only the deleted files. Deleted files, and then we see the search results. No data available, zero items, because on these dates, no file was deleted. So we go back and modify our query. Once again, from 1st of February to the end of February, and we will get some deleted files. So this is the list of some deleted files. See the deleted file. Here you will see your name and that's it. The first task for the project will be completed with this query. I'm just making the picture for an, uh, an example and we keep this one. This is one example and here will be another example. I just uh, resize it to give it a little bit better presentation. And the username will be displayed here. And this picture will show that list of deleted files from audit log. This will be our project task number 13 picture and first picture for today's project assignment. Okay, so I believe this is easy. We are completing this second time. So I believe everybody is able to complete it.
and uh, just voluntarily let me ask uh, if students are uh, easy to create it uh, whoever students are there anybody volunteer to tell me that uh, if you are able to create the list of digital files from the audit log Are you able to create the list of deleted files from the audit log? Just any student voluntarily can answer, please. Any student is able to create the list of deleted files from the audit log. Uh, any student? Mm, nobody is able to. Or taking your time, create it. Or I go through once again. Students, are you able to hear me? Any student can reply that if they're able to create the list of deleted files from the audit log. Hmm. Nobody is replying. Everybody is sleeping. Over happened. <laughs> okay, let me do it once again. Okay. Here is our audit log. We go to Microsoft 365 Compliance and click on Audit. And here we can mention a date from where we want to start. Like for example, I know that in February, I have some file that I have deleted. So I'm starting from 1st of February to the end of February. And here we can choose deleted files. Deleted files. And we can click on search and we can see the results. Just like that. 14 items. Okay, so we go to the next question. Uh, so this one is completed. I have already taken the picture to show the deleted files and then go to the next question for our project. Okay, the next one is, uh, the question is here, create a form from Microsoft Forms that we have done already. So we create another form today just to see that how we can create the forms and that is also quite simple and easy task. Mm -hmm. So we can go to our uh, main page, the first page. 
and here we will see if we don't see we can click on all the apes uh, here are apes if we don't see but here we see already see the palms so you click on this one and it will open in a new tab automatically so we can create a new form here uh, this is uh, www.office.com launch forms so on this page we can create new forms for our users and then we can share those forms and get the results also when we want to create a new form we just click on the new form so the new form page appears we can click the title of the form form for my project week 12 and then we click here to add some new questions well, first of all we include a text box the first question is here for example we write first name and we will enter the answer here and we just add another new question. We got Lao Khairan. Let me add last name. When we add a question, we can write here long answer. We can select long answer if we have. And required also if we want to make it as a required question for the students then we can write also uh, like for example uh, first name last name should be required but we are not just I'm not just making it required otherwise everybody who filled the form he has to enter this information I'm just uh, creating one to test functionality then we can click on we can set rating we can set date we can set choice and more also uh, file upload net promoter score or section whichever we want to add we can add here and let's say we click a uh, date Enter the rate, whatever date a user wants to add, that we will get here. And next question, we just add a choice. Today the climate is dry or wet and here we have options dry wet what we want to select today the climate is dry or wet then we want to select dry but anyone
And then we add another question. For example, we just add our 18. The outside it is very bright the outside it is how bright let's say how bright. Rate on five star rating. Less bright one, most bright five. And we can select from here. So if we like, we can add more questions. This is just the sample form that we will add the picture into our project. We're not actually the distributing the form, but just uh, making the picture of the form into our project. Uh, with the form, the good thing is it's saved already. We don't have to click on save even. And the form is saved already. So this is our first form, the our, our form for the project. Uh, we just pick the picture of the first page, whatever we can see, and then we will keep it for our project. Uh, just this picture and your question number two for the project for today will be completed. Control C here on Control V. This picture is already there. I'm just putting another picture as a sample here. And I believe it's easy to create a form. You guys can easily create a form and just put picture of the form here. Your name will shine here. And this form is, this picture is showing that a new form is created in MS Forms. And this will be task number 14 for our project. Okay. So this was the next task for our today's project. Let me see if everything is going fine. Mic is working. Recording is working. And no question in the chat. So two tasks are completed for today's project. Uh, this one was to create a form that is easy. We just go to the Microsoft Forms from our main page. I can show you once again. From our main page, we will go to Forms and then we reach to Microsoft Forms. Here we create a new form. It's here and we will close this form this will also appear into the list of the created forms it is saved already so we can even close it or just see here i cannot see it right now here but it's created and it is saved it shows here form for my project week 12 saved Okay, all right, so we go there and see what we have completed and now the next task. Any questions, you guys can put forward your questions or I just wait a minute and take a sip of my tea and then go to the next task.
Okay. Uh, the next task is get an email message trace results report that we have created already. So we'll just create once again for our project and uh, for that we will just do as before we have completed Microsoft 365 compliance. From there we can click on alerts and from there we can click on try it now and the system will take us to the exchange admin center or if we are already there we can just select it from there if we want to see that how we reach there <laughs> then uh, here we see the message trace message trace and how we reach over there we go to the Microsoft 365 compliance and from there we click on the alerts and alerts we can click on the try it now because mail flow alerts have moved and the new exchange to the new exchange admin center. So when we click on here we reach to the new exchange admin center and as we are already logged in so it goes directly over there we have selected that keep me logged in and we click on the mail flow and we see the list of the Wilbur topics. First one is the message trace. We click on the message trace. And here we have default query. Then we can custom, we can put forward a custom query also. Uh, so default queries are also good or we can write, we can change it also even. We can go to the custom query, even default query. We can change them a little bit when we are executing the query or we can click on the custom query the message received by my primary domain in the last day primary domain means the I click on start a tra trace and then here we can select senders if we want to distinguish or recipients if we want to change any uh, as I have changed last time, we can change to MS, the main admin of the site. And then we can select the number of days, whichever we want, like two days or seven days. And delivery status all or delivered or expanded or failed or pending. So let's see, we can click deliver. Message ID we don't want to give, otherwise just, there will be only one message and description, any description and any IP address and summary report. I click on search and see which messages this time are selected. See these messages are delivered to this email address from this sender and on this date and time uh, I selected the last seven days so this is uh, whatever received in the last seven days and here we have the subject of the email and here is the status because we selected also the status delivered so here we see only the delivered messages so this is basically that's it the message trace such result is here if we like we can make it a little bit different than this if we want to select any other options or if you guys just prefer we can use this one and that's it this will be our message trace result so easy uh, i can just take the picture of this page and put it on there as a the second example first example is already there these steps we have completed we went to our 365 microsoft 365 compliance center from there we clicked on alerts and then from there we click on try it now the new location and from there we reach to the exchange admin center exchange admin center and then we click on the mail flow then we click on the uh, 
default queries, and we select one, the second one, and then, but we change that behavior of the query a little bit. Uh, when we were here, we changed the recipient, we changed the number of days, and we also changed the delivery status, delivered, and then we clicked on search, and we got the results that we want to show. I will just keep another copy, another uh, example picture for you guys here. This is the message trace search result for my query. Copy it, paste it here, resize it. And my name will be here. You guys can show your name. And the result for your queries or emails we will get. Uh, enough emails from Microsoft, so don't worry, you can make a nice query to show a few results and then you can take the picture of the page and then paste it here for your project number, uh, project task number 15, picture, email message trace result report, email message trace result report, that trace of the emails that are received in this query, according to this query. So we have completed task number 15. So I just take a minute to see if anybody asks any questions. Otherwise, we go to the next picture, next task. And meanwhile, I can take a sip of my tea. Recording is working. Mic is working. Sharing is working. Participants, nobody waiting. And chat is also fine. No questions yet. So this is complete, uh, just one minute break, and then the next task. Uh, just I reminded once again to mention to the students, I have sent uh, uh, an alert to the students also that uh, you guys have submit one file for each project for each week that we are completing our project with four questions. Uh, if you miss one of those, you can go back and submit to there. Uh, if you just submit more than four questions, let's say eight questions just in the next week, that will not work because I cannot allot more than 40 marks to each file. And even I uh, cannot mark your missing week, so you will miss in this case your uh, four marks for that project, for, for that part of the project from your final grade. So go ahead and submit your projects according to the uh, numbers of the weeks. So in each week you should have submitted one file with four questions then you will get proper marks. Uh, each file will get marks out of 40 uh, but that every week has four marks toward your final grade because altogether project contains 24 marks and we have six weeks so each week we are creating four tasks so six into four of course I mean four complete marks. So it doesn't work like that. If you miss one week, you add eight questions or you naturally get 12 questions just in one week. That will not sign your complete marks. You will just get the marks for that week out of 40 and you will miss the marks for the week that you have not submitted the file. So please submit the file with four questions for that week into each correspondence, corresponding week assignment submission folder for the project. Okay, so I hope so everyone will listen to this message because students, uh, if they complete after, they will 
uh, I hope so with listen to the recorded file uh, but I have sent uh, an alert a notification also to the students through the blackboard in the previous week or week before when I noticed then that some students were missing their project in one or the other week okay so this task we have completed and this was our second last task, just the last task and what is that we we'll see from here the summary page for the project 15th we have completed get an email message trace result report we have already completed that just the last one task number 16 for our project create a new list in your site that we have also done before a simple and interesting task and we have many uh, predefined uh, scenarios also that Microsoft will provide and we can use that template and quickly create that list uh, or we can just start from scratch to make our own list uh, both are easy we will select a template and quickly make a list into our site so this is the picture number 15 next we go to create a list if we go to our site for week number 12 just on the main page we see the new and in the new the first thing is the list so i'm just going to the site uh, my sharepoint uh, admin center not this one uh, not this one let me just close them also alongside because this is the last task only that I'm completing. Those tasks are we have completed already. If we will need, we can go back. Form, I can also complete. Uh, I will close this one and see. This one, we don't see yet the form updated here, but maybe we will get it. And yes, I have refreshed the page and then we get the form that just we created. See the form for my project week 12 this is the form that we just created okay so i close this one also compliance also we were going to our main uh, alerts also we don't need maybe we need to open once again yes no problem we quickly can open it this is our first page for the office and this one is exchange admin center oh, we don't need this one Okay, no problem. We click on the admin and then we click on show all and then we click on SharePoint. Then we will see the sites, active sites, list of the sites, site week number 12. Click on the URL and this will be opened like this. Here on the main page on the home, we see new. And in the new we see list so we click on the list we want to create a list for our site these are the this is a blank list we can also start from here from an excel we can create or from an existing list we can create or from these templates we can use uh, anyone that we like we can try like for example uh, Uh, or progress tracker and anything we can select any of those we just want to see the functionality show the functionality that we are creating a list and we click on use the template and the list will be created just the name of the list work progress tracker the list already exists we can just give it a name work prospects tracker zero two or just two Show in the site navigation, yes, and create it. This will be created. So it's simple and easy. And we can click uh, as the uh, hint is given here that select the new button to get started. When we click on new, we will add an item in this list. Uh, where is the title of the video? Work progress track, tracker 2. Yeah new so this is the one item 
item of the list enter the value here work item uh, let's say just one description work item complete the project task four four is actually 16 this is four three sixteen category work done by work to be done yeah this is work to be done that's the category which category we want to assign to this task planning design in then marketing research okay click on research this will be our category progress uh, not started in progress we click in progress and priority yes we give it a high priority just this way you're making up a data to show that we have created the list and there is one record also start date we have the calendar here the today's date due date we have actually saturday so this is due date and assigned to email address here is your email address i will give my email address let's say ms this one yeah system is getting it good personal group the work is assigned to yeah notes enter the notes here project task 16 i believe this was task 16 let me just see it yeah 16 Additional notes if we want to write anything, attachments if we want to attach any files, apply label if we want to play, apply any label, and then we click on save. When we click on save, we see that first line is here into our list. And basically, that's it. We can just take the picture of this list and keep for our project task number 16. Uh, the question is solved. Create a list. One sample is already here. The other one I am just copying here. Name is here. We can bring it to the front. And the list is here that is showing a list is created. Yes, the list is created. And that's it. Uh, just quickly, I can show you once again that how we have created that. It's so easy. We just go back to our site and we can create the list simply. It's uh, SharePoint Admin Center, we click on our site here, we reach to our site, this is the main page, home page, and here we click on new, and in the new one there is a list, and if we select the option, show in the navigation, it will show here, uh, work progress tracker 2 is here, I can click on it, and we, when we create, we just click on the list, and then we can create a list. Uh, already created lists are here this one and this one and this list looked like this one work progress tracker 2 and i have created one record also in it to show that how the record is entered and we created a picture of this site uh, this list and then we added into our project task number 16 that is completed and i hope so everybody understand and you guys can complete it yourself uh, so we're already at 47th minute so just in three more minutes i will complete the meeting and then we can i will when the meeting is completed then the video files the processing starts uh, and also i will just go through this file that if any other things want uh, should be added 
uh, I can add and then I can, I'll upload the file and then you guys can take this uploaded version this is version number two of the file before it was version version number one that is uh, uploaded already so now the version number two will be uploaded and you guys can see this file and take help from this one for your assignment for your project and uh, of course uh, for the final exam also these files are helpful and uh, then I will upload this one also and I will upload the upload the recordings of the lecture also that will go to the same YouTube site uh, and you can click on the list and see the see the uploaded files also but it will take a little time like an hour or two and then everything will be available from the blackboard the the videos are big files and uh, help desk uh, manager that told me that uh, in the uh, blackboard site we cannot upload uh, this much big files so you upload them into the any the streaming site like YouTube and give the link to the into the blackboard so that I have given so uh, thank you very much students uh, if any question we have one minute to put forward your question otherwise I'll complete the uh, lecture and then we will see each other next week up to now the recording is working and mic is working stopping uh, share uh, sharing is working um, and no question in the task in the chat chat window so let's complete our meeting Okay, so uh, I'll wait till 10 o'clock. So if any question, any student has any question, and then I will complete the meeting. Meanwhile, I can just go through the topics, a uh, few topics. I want to add a couple of more slides from the Microsoft website so we can have a little bit more information about some topics. Let me just uh, go back and I'll be working with you guys. Okay, here about the audit we can start from this link i am copying this link and i will paste it here this is about the audit so the audit log in the compliance center I have copied the first paragraph and the next one starting the list but it's a big list so we cannot fit it on one page one slide so I can do that we just keep a make a, little, a few copies of this slide
we need to complete this list. I want to show you this list. So one, two, three. We should start from here. Let's uh, see how our, whatever I can fit into one slide and the uh, relation with the previous topics also not broken. So my analytics, okay, my analytics, I copy here. I see mic is muted or oh, working. So. Mic is working, it's good. Recording is also working. So we have until 10 o'clock. Long list. Okay, from my analytics to stream. Okay, up to let's say here information, sensitive information types. We can get nice groups. Couple of more slides. for a note.
So the mic is working and sharing is working, recording is working, 56 minutes. Uh, there is some question in the chat. Uh, no, no question. That's good. Okay, we can minimize this one and I'm just closing these windows. Uh, so it's now it's uh, almost 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock we complete the meeting and then I will upload the recording files and also upload once again the next version of the uh, PowerPoint slides file. Okay, thank you very much students. So I'm stopping the recording. So now it's a 57 minutes recording.